After spending three quarters of her money, Jane found that she had $45 less than Maggie. If the two of them together had $190 at first, how much money did Jane have at first? So this is a before and after bar model. So let's start with after. So Jane had the amount of money, which rep which was, we don't know the total. And Maggie had that same amount of money plus an extra $45. Now I'm going to use some color here because these two are equal parts, and I want to see that clearly. And this is not. This is a different value. And we already know that that's 45, but I'm still going to colour it just to show that they're different values. So that's the after. And we need, we're need. we trying to find out how much. So before... Jane must have had four of four equal parts because if she spent three quarters, she only has one quarter left. So this is one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. I would need to draw the whole amount. And then for Maggie, I just draw the same thing an extra amount to represent the $45. And once again, I'll colour it in just to make it clear to see. These equal parts have not changed in size. You can do a better job of colouring in, I guess. And this equal part has not changed in size. But we do have while we're looking for the totals here, we do have one slightly bigger piece of information now. While we don't know the totals that Jane and Maggie had, we do know the total amount of money they had together. And that was $190. And this is what's going to help us solve it. So we've got five equal parts plus $45. So we can't do division yet. What we need to do is we need to remove that $45 before we can do division. So 190, take away 45, equals, eight, 10, ten take away five is five, eight tenths take away four tenths is four tenths, so five equal parts, I'll write here, equals 145. Okay, so if that's what five equal parts are, let's find out what one equal part is. One hundred and forty five divided by five, five into four two, four remainder, nine times. So one equal part equals twenty nine or twenty nine dollars. So now our step is to find out because we want to know how much money Jane had at first. She had four equal parts, so 29 times four. At the start, Jane had $116. Okay, and if we were to work it out, 
Maggie had $45 plus $29, so $54, $74 plus $116 is $190, so I can also do that check if I need to, just to make sure.